our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tatiana Suarez. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amanda Lamarsh. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, we're in Anaheim, California, at Honda Center tonight. A lot of UFC history and championship history inside these walls. It's so crazy how the UFC has blessed this arena with so many title fights. Ronda Rousey, Kane Brock, Kane Dos Santos, Me Jones, Me Stipe, Woodley, Cyborg. So many championships have been defended in this arena, and so many championships have changed hands in this arena. Tonight, you get the step foot in what we can call Championship City for the UFC. What a great job getting that kick to the top. Pretty good head kick there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some separation between the two athletes. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Her opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Great punch landed with so much power. Get off first. Oh, big head kick there. And there it is. So the best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts. Finally gets her opponent down for the first time. Today. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Oh, she's got the Dorse choke now. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Oh, and yet somehow she gets out of it. She did a fantastic job of defending what was a very, very deep submission attempt. Lemos gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Under 90 seconds to go. Fire back. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice block. She gets in very close and gets to the single call time. Certainly shown great timing on that double leg. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Suarez is in half court. And there you go, again, half guard. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person. Lemos is trying to lock up on a submission now. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh, what a round. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Single leg takedown is good. Right to side control, yep. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, we 
arm is just going up and down your shit. Blocked by your ankle. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Nice jab by Lemos. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Attacking both sides now. Lemos gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Nice body shot. She gets to the single collar tie. Look how to lose the opponent. Pull the head down and try to wear on her gas tank. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Take many of those. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lemos. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. Another big takedown. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, that looks tight and painful. She is going to rip her arm off if she doesn't tap. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground problem. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Lemos getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so big round for her there. Not much wasted motion when it comes to the ground strikes. DC, take us through the highlights. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, when you watch someone that is so well-versed at ground and pound fighting, it is a joy to watch, especially for a guy like me. She did a great job of truly knowing exactly where she needed to go. She does not go crazy with strikes. She finds the correct Ready time to, to throw them, and Ready. she makes every single one of them count. Third round underway. Oh, nice. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, D.C., and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. Great shot from the top position. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Suarez is right back to the full mount here. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, and that looks tight. Oh, so now she gives up on the submission. She did, and she did because she saw that she was going to end up in a worse position. Great recognition to give up the submission and maintain her dominant position. Man, she's making this look like a training session in terms of the grappling, the takedowns, the ground control, just in her element tonight. I mean, it's ideal. Everything to this point has been ideal. That doesn't happen much in fighting, but for her right now, it's going exactly as planned. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. And now she's in mount. This is a terrible position. to top position by Lemos. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Oh, it's getting deep. She's working hard for the arm bar now. All she's got to do is get her to unlock her hands 
and she's almost there. Fight IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she kept the dominant position. Lemos is back in full goal. Wow, how about her resolve to get back to the feet? Had to have it in this final round. We'll see where she goes from here. It was all she could do. She had to get up to give herself a chance. She's got a chance now. She has got to let everything hang out if she wants to finish this fight. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, nice. Nice. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Suarez is in half guard. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Tatiana Suarez! All right, so her wrestling is on point tonight as she gets the better of the largely more well-rounded fighter. And I think this result, even though no finish, is going to have a lot of people excited to see her next performance. Yeah, she fought as good as you can in earning the decision, John.